That's, uh, what would you thinking. rather have, right? Um, roller skate feet, and there's little wheels, right? Uh, chopstick hands, yeah? Mm. Instead of hands, chopstick instead of hands, wheels instead of feet. Yeah. Right? Or acne. Uh, how big are the wheels? <laughs> <laughs> no. See, I've, you know the sort of things I find incredible? Go on. Um, mirrors. <laughs> Shiny ah, objects. Kettles. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Well, uh. listen, listen, remember the time when I tell you about the, the uh, baby that had a baby? The well, baby that had a baby. The baby that had a baby. Yeah. It's happened again. <laughs> no, it hasn't. Well, it, it didn't happen in, the first time. It was in the papers, I think, on, uh, on Monday, in all the, uh, tabloids. So it's a twin where w one is, has, has grown and the other one is still at a fetal level. No, it wasn't, though. It had grown. He was saying to his mum, uh, who was saying to his mum? The little kid, he was seven years old. And he kept he? saying, yeah. yeah he was <laughs> and he was pregnant? Yeah. I know. <laughs> what do you mean? And, uh, he was saying to his mum, oh, God, I don't feel well. And, like, his belly was all swollen, and they thought he'd just been eating cake or whatever. And, uh, he was saying, I can feel something moving about, and they were like, stop messing about, there's nothing wrong with you. Uh, eventually, I think he was in gym, at school. In gym, what, Jim was pregnant with him? <laughs> oh was, no, he was, he was like at, a Russian he, doll. He was at, he was at school, right, just about to do, uh, sit-ups or whatever they do at school, right? Yeah. And, uh, Flew out across the room. teacher goes, you're a bit fat. You look a bit pregnant. And, uh, so best thing to the doctors, took him, said, uh, you're seven years pregnant or something like that. What are you yeah. <laughs> what, 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 or something like that? No, you're no, seven no. years pregnant <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> you sit in the doctor. <laughs> Go! Why don't you think right. about what you say before oh, you say it? Chimpanzee See, that! Right, um, I don't know how recent this was. Oh, God. 17th century? But it, ha it happened in Acne, right? Uh, if you're outside London, that's in a place in London. Um, and it's this monkey that's going about Acne, nicking DVDs. <laughs> <laughs> Even the monkey didn't go for videos. <laughs> Even the monkey knew. Well, there's no point in getting it on VHS. Because you're on VHS. You're having it. Throw it back. Right, and there's a girl called Lisa who works in our office here, right? And I mentioned it to her because she lives in Hackney. I said, uh, "You familiar with this?" And uh, she said, "Oh, I remember something about it, which annoyed me. The fact that a monkey's running riot, but she couldn't. She didn't know the full story, <laughs> and she lives there." What, is, what do you mean a monkey? Do you mean a, do you mean a chimpanzee? Or a um, monkey. I don't know, is he a zoo in Acne? Is he a zoo there? I don't, I don't know, know what sort it was. But it, it, it was like- Is there a zoo in Hackney? I don't know. I don't know. That's what I was asking. <laughs> so, right, um, get on with the story. So anyway, so yeah, it's been robbing stuff. And um, <laughs> the, the other bit that really puzzled me, right, is the fact that- And you're not easily puzzled by monkey news. They took fingerprints. <laughs> What do you think about that? <laughs> <laughs> well, they took fingerprints, presumably because they didn't know it was a monkey to start with. No, they did. They saw it, they saw it, nicking stuff, <laughs> and they said, get fingerprints. What? So that means there's more than just one doing it. <laughs> no. I'm gonna have a heart attack. He had to fax them to Interpol. Yeah, yeah. We know that is, yeah. It's Brian, it's Brian the monkey. Yeah. Yeah. So Sorry, I don't understand. He was stealing DVDs, specifically DVDs. Uh, DVDs, I think it said watches. And stuff. What, breaking into homes? Yeah, in Hackney. Maybe Are you sure it wasn't a kid with a mask on? No, seriously. How was he breaking into homes? They're good, aren't Up they? the drain pipe. They're good, aren't they? They're good, aren't they? <laughs> but why would they do so that? So is that the news? <laughs> well, that's what, how much do you want? <laughs> <laughs> is that monkey news? For, the, for this week. <laughs> well, I don't know that it's true. Again, I've got nothing there was, to- There was other stuff. There was another story that I found about a monkey, but I'd, I would like to know from someone if in Hackney if- do you know what I mean? And I missed that one on Crime Watch, which would have been good, <laughs> right? But there was another story about one that uh, kept getting on buses, not paying its fare, not paying its fare, and just sat in a corner reading the paper. <laughs> reading the paper, Carl, you're an idiot. But that, that wasn't in London. You're an idiot. Either. That was in America. It wouldn't somewhere. read the paper. Why would it read the paper? Because it was its way of sort of going, oh well, if I'm reading something, maybe the inspector. <laughs> Oh, the inspector will notice my hairy hands. Oh, Carl, you're 
Because <laughs> your dad was a cabbie, wasn't he? Yeah, he was, yeah. Couldn't stand it, but it's, it's good money. He was a prof- he wasn't like a chancellor. Black what cow. Was, black cow. What was he- what was he doing when he put that little Forrest Gump in a- in a weedy bin? That was, uh, that was part of the cab company thing. They had to do like a charity event once a year, and he did it one year. Never asked him again. Tell the story again, I said, I know no, I'd rather not, cause Why? we got- cause we got a few sort of, uh, complaints about it. Why? Why do you get complaints about it? Because- it's cause he put a kid in a bin, and it's not the thing to do. <laughs> But we could use it as a sort of sobering lesson for people. <laughs> yeah, tell it like a, tell it like a, you know, don't, yeah. you shouldn't do it. No, it's, it's I, yeah, but that's how I did it last time, but people still didn't like it. All the stuff I tell you, I don't, you know, we don't take the mickey out of people on purpose. No. We, it's real life, innit, and mm. that goes on in life. Yeah. My dad I, was saying that in hospital, though, do you know how he was in hospital? Yeah. You know, he did some jokes about old people and that, and he said, at the end of the day, if something makes you laugh, it's funny. Mm. And if it makes you laugh, you can't help laughing, can you? Do you True know what I mean? Enough. So. <laughs> What you meant to do? <laughs> and yeah. laughing's good for you. Yeah. So, even but being laughed at isn't as good for you, is it? No, but there's probably more people laughing at one person. So if you balance it out, <laughs> there's only one person who's upset, and there's a bunch of people laughing. <laughs> so it's, it's <laughs> genius. Give me an example of that. Give me an example. Well, for instance, Carl Pilkington as he talks, and the people listening. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, give me an example of like so. Uh, uh, you know, I can't, well, I can't because again, that's what I'm saying. I can't tell you the story because. Yeah. There might be someone out there who, this person might even be listening and think, I forgot about that and you brought it all back to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so I'd, I'd prefer to leave it, but I think people know- Why did he put him in the bin in the first place? Because he was getting out of hand. What was he doing though? You see, I can't explain- You can't, don't be silly! I'd prefer to, to leave it, honestly. What, what, what was he doing? Was he annoying him? He was annoying me dad and the other people in the cab. Right. And he thought, how can I deal with this before it gets too out of hand? Yeah. He pulled over and put the lad in a wheelie bin. <laughs> I'm gonna bet. So we'll, we'll leave that. <laughs> and then- <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. How old was the kid? Um, <laughs> I'm not sure, but I mean, it was a trip to sort of Blackpool. So, <laughs> I'm guessing- <laughs> Do you think it was one of the rides? Seventeen. This is yeah. rubbish. Seventeen? Yeah. Oh, he's quite an old lad then. So, so a big lad. Yeah. <laughs> but let's- let's- uh, Did he pick him up? He picked him up and put him in a wheelie bin. <laughs> Every time he says it, <laughs> And then on the way back, he got him back again, he said, right, you won't do that again. On the he... way back? Yeah, he left him there for a bit. He left him there, what, they went to Blackpool yeah. and he left the kid in the wheelie bin? Yeah. Did but, he? Yeah. What, was the kid in the wheelie bin when he drove back? Did yeah. he not get out? No, because how do you get out? It's tricky, isn't it? And <laughs> he wasn't a normal kid, was he? Let's let's leave it. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't a normal kid. Right, right then. So uh <laughs> is your father in prison? <laughs> oh, I think he now, should yeah. be. He said he phoned me up today. You know, it was absolutely tipping it down. <laughs> he had to cycle it in, right? <laughs> because he said because of the movie, he doesn't want to leave his bike around there. <laughs> and he said. <laughs> He said, and uh, Suzanne, oh, I can't say this in case he's listening, can I? He won't know. Will uh, he? He, said, he said, Suzanne's hired the oldest removal man in London. You should hear him. <laughs> and the thing is, right, we booked him, we booked him because everyone else happened to be booked out, but this fella's free, right? <laughs> so he called up this morning, and I've never spoke to him, but he was on the phone. He sounded about 90. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can't think that he's gonna have to do all the work. And the, and the thing is, <laughs> We, well, it, it seems to be cheap. He only wanted some Werther Originals. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. listen, it seems to be cheap because it's £50 an hour. <laughs> but how long is it gonna take him? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's so genius! When's the move on then? When's the end? Oh, well, he's coming right. he came round today to bring some empty boxes and he was struggling with them. <laughs> <laughs> so, Play the jingle. Uh, 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 Oh, chimpanzee that monkey news. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. A particularly aggressive jingle this week. Wow. Yeah, looking forward to this monkey news. <laughs> Carl. Right. Come on. So, what's the name? What? We've done- <laughs> Sorry, what, 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 what? Brilliant. We've done, uh, we've done a lot of monkeys who, like, got involved in crime and stuff. Mm, yeah. yeah. Right? Mm. We had, uh, the one on the train station, yep. Nick in a bag. Yep. We had the one who went Don't into a bank. Who cares? Went into a bank <laughs> and walked out with the money and stuff. Yes, right. Didn't happen either. 
Next. Uh, <laughs> but the thing is, you never sort of found out what happened to them. If they sort of got worse, got more involved into oh, crime Oh, this monkey news update! <laughs> that would uh, be amazing. Brilliant. What they found out in India is... Yeah. They've got a prison. It's okay. just for monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> you mean- you mean wild animals? You mean- A zoo? Yeah, yeah. A zoo or a kennel or no. something that where they've- they've- it's been, uh, gone mental or no, something. No, it's a prison. It's yeah, a prison. is it- is it- does it have fraud cases? It's got- it's I mainly- bet, I, I, mainly sort of animals that are attacked things, and it's mainly violence, I bet. That's my- That and- uh, that and theft. Say it again? Stuff. Theft. <laughs> say it again? Theft. Say it again? Robin. Oh. No, let's go back to the, 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 that word. We're gonna keep doing it. You've got- we've got Robin. six minutes. You're gonna say the word right before you go to Hastings. Well, do you say it? No, well, you no, say it then you know how to say it. Well, alright, Robin then. It's been caught Robin. Say it again though. So Who's anyway. Robin? Who's Robin? So, uh, they've got this <laughs> prison, <right? laughs> This is extraordinary. <laughs> say it again. No, you're not gonna say it? No, go on then. So they got a prison for them, right? And, uh, there's eleven of them in there, eleven monkeys. Right. That are in there for life. <laughs> Cos <laughs> that's- the, 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 I think there's one just got out on parole, right? No right. time off for the there's eleven- again? there's eleven- I'll give you the bit of paper because I thought this was- <laughs> Weird! Now even you, th you thought it was a bit weird. Now Carl, what, uh, what are they in there for then? Cos I mean they're in there for life so I'm Robin, assuming it's murder, Robin, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Premeditated murder? <laughs> They're not- they're not crime bosses, are they? They're not- Are not they- the, are they the- Prostitution uh, and gambling. Are you sure they're not the, just the pawns and the- and the head sort of like orangutans up a tree going, Remember, you don't know me. You're on your own. <laughs> 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 if I go down, you're all yeah. coming with me. You take some of your gorillas down there and sort him out. Oh, the great banana robbery. <laughs> I wonder, if, I wonder if they'd get them. <laughs> right, go on then. Okay, let me see. Now, where, I don't know what source this is, as ever. <laughs> is it just, is it just a ba the back of a fag packet found in a toilet? Well, no, I mean, someone's clearly- if, if this is nonsense, then someone's clearly gone to a lot of effort because it does open with the headline, Parole unlikely for inmates of monkey prison. <laughs> yeah! Officials <laughs> say 11 inmates at India's only monkey jail- Officials? Now, what kind of people <laughs> work at a monkey jail? <laughs> where do you work? Uh, um, uh. it says officials say eleven inmates at India's only monkey jail are unlikely to ever be released. Uh, the prison in Patilia houses monkeys apprehended by game wardens in Punjab state for thieving and attacking people. Uh, the Daily, uh, the Daily Telegraph reports how the monkeys at the prison in Monte blah, 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 snarl and glare at visitors from their heavily barred cages. Two monkeys were released a year ago after exhibiting good behaviour for eighteen months in the jail. They have remained out of trouble. Prison can work, that's good. So... So All basically, eleven monkeys. They were aggressive wild animals that were taken away from the public for their own good. I'm robbing them up. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of that then? Yeah. We've got one more bit left. Brilliant. One more fact. Um the French, right, when they were at war. Um <laughs> David Sharma, I just imagine him just introduced it. Amazing. Which which war was this? It was still the World War, uh, World One or War, two. World you go two. on, it's fifty fifty, go on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, right, World War Two, uh what the French did, uh did everyone needs a code. Right? <laughs> everyone needs a code. <laughs> yep. A code when you when you're in the army. This is a Disney song. Right. <laughs> um and, you know, to sort of give the go-ahead if you want to go into battle and stuff. Okay. Right? So, um... Everyone needs a go! <laughs> but the weird Game thing show. is... Right, the weird Everyone. thing is... Do you know what, do you know what theirs was? Go on. Do Isn't you? It? Yeah, yeah, I've, I know what it is. It's so what was the, the French code? For what? To sort of say, right, yeah, go on. But they had more than one. <laughs> on, on this day. But I don't know what day it is! <laughs> on All this right. day. Oh, um, what, it's just like saying, what am I thinking of? <laughs> what was the battle? What was the... Okay, right. so, alright, what... Look at him, look at him, look, he's genuinely confused that I've asked this question. Right. It was... No! It was... No, no, if you ask me a question, ask me the question correctly. Um, what was the, what was the code for battle during what battle? World War Two. No, that's not a battle. That's a war. Yeah, it was in a war, yeah. <laughs> it, uh, I don't know what to do. He right. confuses people. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Okay. What was it, Carl? What was the yeah? Code? What, what, what the are French you thinking code? of? Right. John's got a moustache. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what oh. are you 
talking about? My lungs are gonna burst. That, that was, was a code that the French used. You know, like, I mean, I, I just think it's a bit daft, right? Uh, because you could come up with that by mistake. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Two French blokes talking in the trenches, and they see they see a major walk past, and they go, oh, "Look, John's got a moustache," and they all go and go, "No, I was just talking." <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, the way I, I don't think that's a good code. I'm, I'm not. I don't know, believe it is the code. No, it is seriously. And what? Uh, it's and would just it, would it have been, would it have been it. said in French? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, the way yeah. That, guessing. The, guessing. The way, yeah. 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 No, but. What? You see, I can't even be, be bothered. <laughs> what? What are you saying, Carl? Because it's not a very good code. Do you know, like, we've talked in the past about, you know, things you don't see and I said, an old man eating a Twix. <laughs> yeah. If they use that, that wouldn't- that's safe. Because no one is ever gonna see a man having an old, you know, an old man having a Twix. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, use that as a code. Don't use a saying, <laughs> John's got a moustache, that could crop up. <laughs> it's like the war's kicked off. Why did- how, why did- how did that happen? Well, I said John had a moustache. Oh. <laughs> Two French folks would never be saying John's got a moustache. Why, Why would they? they? Because well, back then they were fashionable. <laughs> <laughs> he nearly makes sense, doesn't he? I assume it would have been Jean. Yeah. No, probably John. And I, I, how would this how would this code have been? I mean, who would have announced know, this to everyone? I just read it. I read it like that, Steve. That's what was on the internet. This is a code <laughs> that was used. John's got well, a moustache. don't be angry with me! I know, but you're always asking questions. <laughs> <laughs> so you're history. sat there, yeah. having a serious chat. It's a quiet hospital. <laughs> the woman next door with the blue hands suddenly starts seeping gas, right? Well, I start laughing. Because <laughs> if there's one thing that makes you laugh, it's like, is it is a 98 year old woman with blue hands fine? So you try to hold it in because it's a really quiet hospital and it's, it'd be obvious that we were, uh, that I was laughing at her and I, I didn't want to be mean, but it was <laughs> funny. And then it got me t talking about my auntie because my auntie Nora, um, she, uh, she, same thing, pumped her with loads of drugs. She used to, a, a, a cabinet next to the bed is like boots. She's got <laughs> loads of stuff, right, for all sorts of stuff. And I mean, she's not that old, but she's on loads of stuff, right? She's and a bit coked up as she's she, smoked. Uh, she called up my mum once. And, yeah, uh, you told us this, go on, tell it again. And, uh, she said, oh, how are you doing and that? She said, alright. Uh, bit worried though, my mum said, wow, what's up? She said, I've, uh, been breaking wind. So she goes, well, you know. She says, no, but this one is going on and on and on. And she was <laughs> like, she was, she was like, what, 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 what do you say, what's, like passing wind, farting, for five minutes. <laughs> one, one thing, not like, you know, trumping and then nothing. Yeah. Continuous. Continuous drone of a fart. Yeah. I don't think she had- how big was she? She must be the size of a barn. No, she's not that big. She's, you know, she's good for age. No, quite but I mean- that. Quite slim. No, it's but fighting just... for five minutes. Uh, where's all the guy? Was she circular breathing? Was she sucking it in with her mouth? It was just- <laughs> I don't know. I don't know that much about it. But she called up my mum. About two and a half minutes in- Could you hear <laughs> it in the background? <laughs> Two and a half minutes in, she called me mum up, <laughs> and it went, it went on for a further two and a half minutes. Oh. And she just stayed on the phone, did you? Where was- phone? Uh, Going, well, can you hear that? Well- <laughs> yeah. Did she yeah. hold the phone next to her ass? <laughs> Listen to she, that. Was, she was off the ground. I'm trying to work a tune down. <laughs> she, she was- she was actually hovering, she was four yeah. foot off the ground yeah. when they found her, the ambulance yeah. men. The cat's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Don't light a match! <laughs> Don't light that cigarette! <laughs> yeah, it's like uh, that advert. The kids come home from school, switch on the lights. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> there they see Granny yeah. hovering, <laughs> turn the light on. <laughs> Be careful if you have an elderly woman at home. <laughs> yeah. Uh, drugs so, make you fart. 